to the channel, JDog FPV here today. I'm going to be talking about the Nanix 945 carry case. This is for the Phantom 3 line. Um, I'm not sure if the Phantom 4s would fit, but I've had this case for four years now and it has been absolutely phenomenal. So I'm going to talk about some of the feature it has, um, storages, what I use them for. Um, the use, these cases used to be up to close to 200 bucks and now they're roughly around 80 to 100 bucks so they've come down quite a bit over the last few years um, first off the center part is for Phantom I have a Phantom 3 Advanced off to here we got a spot for the remote this right section I use for cable connectors um, Put extra spare dampeners go on to the gimbal right here. So, get some spares for that. Some blocker. Um, lens cleaning cloth. This was a newer gimbal guard, but it's not really not that great so I leave that in there and then in this spot right here I leave uh, just one set of propellers and I got my gimbal protectors right here these are the snap-on gimbal protectors that just snap onto there so quick and easy if I'm flying around people, I can put those on or something expensive. Um, it's, it fits pretty snug, but it works. And I have three batteries, um, one's charging, um, but I use three sections right here for my batteries. Um, it can fit up to six batteries. But on the side right here, I use this, these pouches for um, my Polar Pro lens filters. I got one for each, so I like each side is go from like CPL to ND8 or ND32. So I use different compartments for those. Um, these slots, I've never had to use them, but these slots right here come out. Um, I'm sure you could store something small in there too, but um, this foam is removable, so if you need to clean it out, you can. So you can take the foam out if you need to clean it up inside. Um, really nice case. It is shockproof. I believe just like rainproof. Um, these latches right here are really, really, really good. Um, put this stuff back in real quick. It fits a lot. I could fit probably two sets in this spot right here for my propellers. But there's a certain way you have to place the remote in. You have to have See if this is facing forward. You have to have this antenna right here facing down and this one facing that way in order for it to fit. So place that in there. And then this phone holder right here has a slot that slides right in. Lanyard down there. This slot, I'm not sure what I could use that one for. Um, haven't had a need to use that one, but put my phantom back in there. It's been great. Um, I can leave my gimbal protectors um, on there, and these also add as extra support. We all know that they get stress cracks. 
Um, mine is starting to get some stress cracks. Uh, really tiny ones, so I'm not I'm not too worried about it. But this one is pretty old. It's uh, it's been flying for around I'd say at least five or six years. So it is pretty old. It has a lot of hours on it. Um, I've used it for some big events though, and still flies great. So. I haven't had a need to really upgrade. 2.7K video, 30 frames per second, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, as this latches, it has four latches. And to do that, it has a push button that you just push down. This allows it to pull up and latch. Airtight. It's a nice case, really professional. So if you're doing like real estate or any kind of commercial work, bringing this out to a site, people are gonna be like, "Oh man, you mean business?" And you want that if you have clients. So highly recommend this case. You can also, in the front, it has these two uh, holes for putting a lock. I think the overall weight, I'd say, probably carrying this, I would say around 20 pounds. Overall, I highly recommend this case if you're looking for a case to get for. A DJI Phantom 3 line. Um, I'm not going to say it works for Phantom 4 because I'm not sure if the sizes are the same or not. But if you like this video, please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.